Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, ABS wheel speed sensor. Um, I've been running into this issue lately with my uh, S10 in particular. Um, I've been having an issue where the cable is pretty much severing itself and I'm not exactly sure why, but all I know is I have to replace the sensor. So I have my old wheel hub here that I'm going to be uh, using as a donor. I'm going to be taking the wheel speed sensor off of that and uh, Hopefully seeing if it'll work on this and I'm trying to reroute the cable so it doesn't get torn um, The basic supplies and basic things you're gonna need is you're obviously gonna need your uh, wheel speed sensor a new one or at least a donor um, a pick probably to get Any kind of mud because this is mine as tennis four-wheel drive, so I use it off-road um, the bolt that's going to be attached to the hub itself may have dirt so get a pick to clean it out um, you obviously will need this this little washer slash gasket piece to go onto the hub and this is actually a new hub um, that just i ended up replacing because the previous person that i bought it off of they didn't secure the axle uh, washers on the cb axle and it ended up screwing up the hubs on the driver's side so I went ahead and just replaced both of them so I got this donor here um, you will in order to get this bolt off you will need a h5 hex bit in order to get it off so there's that uh, I have aftermarket rims so I have my wheel lock um, spline drive um, and then in order to get the rotor off you're gonna have to take off the brake caliper and you will need a 19, or uh, excuse me, an 18, um, an 18 socket in order to get these bad boys off. Okay, so you can just go ahead. I will typically use a flathead screwdriver just to kind of pry this uh, caliper out of the way. So you can kind of shimmy it back and forth just to get it off. Uh, once you get your caliper off, go ahead and set it aside. Um, set it somewhere where it's not going to be uh, putting the weight of the caliper on the brake line itself. Um, it's just a kind of precautionary so you don't put strain on the brake line. Um, and of course next you're just going to get your uh, brake pads, take those out of the way. take off the caliper to rotor mounting bracket and to get that off it should be another 18 yes it is another 18 so all right so after you get the 18 out of the caliper to rotor you're gonna go ahead and just simply pull it off so we got the two caliper Caliper bolts, get those out. Caliper rotor bolts, get those out. And then the rotor is going to come right off. Now we get to the actual objective here. Um, this is going to be our, zoom out here. This is our sensor here. You see it runs through the rotor shield. It goes down because it got severed. So it just came right off. Let's actually go over to the driver's side and let's observe. So, got it mounting to that bolt there. It's going up. You see it's still got some free, some free tack in it. Some slack in the line, so that's all good. So, you know, notice my nice nice ripped up boot here so it just goes pretty much up just like that so now we come back to the side we're working on and this is where your hex bit is going to come in handy so x5 bit go ahead and get that out just go ahead and get it in there and it should just kind of just come out nice and easy here and then that's it 
couple of threads and it should come right out. And then the sensor itself is gonna come right out like that. We're gonna go ahead and take this little gasket piece off of here and we're gonna use it because you clearly see the difference. So we're gonna get rid of this one and use this one. So pull our sensor out. It got shredded up, that's what it looks like. I caught up somewhere and pretty much cooked it. So now you're gonna come over to this bolt up here on top of the upper control arm. Um, it's a 13 millimeter. Go ahead and put your socket on there. And we just go ahead and break it loose. Get the bolt out of here. Of course, like I said, it's a 13. Um, for some reason, this was underneath the control arm on the inside, just above the brake line. So I'm guessing some, some kind of weird flex of the control arm caused it to snap and uh, rub up. But this is actually supposed to be on the outside here. That's according to the driver's side, so we're gonna mount that up correctly. Um, and then you're gonna come over here. You're also gonna get this bracket off. This is also a 13. This is gonna be just above the brake line. Move this two pin connector and we're gonna pull this connector right off. So it actually just slides, but I just pulled on it. So, and uh, here we have it. So, this is uh, this is your ABS sensor. So, this is why it's imperative that the ABS um, wheel speed sensor, when you install it, you make sure that the lines are not tangled or binded up on anything because when you take turns, the wheel flexes any kind of uneven terrain, the control system is going to want to move up and down and it can cause this right here. And then you will get the ABS light on your dash. Much vice versa, the same way I pretty much explained it to you, it's backwards. You just take this little connector, slide it on there, jam that back down in there, two pin connector, run it right on there, make sure that's all fastened. I don't like the way that's looking there. And we're going to take this, where happened? There's that bolt. Is this it? No. Uh, I need that off this one. This is what you need right here. It's gonna be the bracket that looks like this. It's got a nice large plate behind it. So take that off. Uh, we'll attach it in here. And it should just kind of just nicely sit in that little groove there. Take a 13 millimeter bolt, we insert it. And then run it down. All right, so basically where GM kind of messed up on this was after you buy these aftermarket ones, you install them. They didn't really take into account later on when you had to put new parts on the truck. So um, basically this bracket here, it goes, it's mounted on the inside. I took it, bent the little uh, little flange piece here that goes to this hole, bent that off, and mounted it in there, and re-threaded the nut through it, and had it so that the ABS wire is is above the control arm. So not only that, but all this extra tension kind of dissipates when the control system flexes up, whether it flexes down, or if the wheel turns left to right, you have all this extra extra tension kind of just getting alleviated so the tire doesn't interfere with it this the control arm isn't bending and pulling on it and it's it's out of the way of everything it's not tangled up with your brake line it's just it's out of the way so that's what we're going to shoot for so now you're going to come down to your uh, actual sensor itself uh, i took the gasket piece just take it put it on uh, if you did buy an aftermarket one and you're running it with a different hub uh, you just take this o-ring off and you just leave that back one there, put the gasket on, and pretty much just run it in the hole. Make sure there's no metal shavings or anything on there. Um, just so you don't really give the sensor kind of like scrambled readings just because there's excess metal and stuff. You take your H5 hex bit and tighten it up. Go ahead and slap the rotor on. said just take this put it on there 
nice and easy. Get your two 18 millimeter bolts, thread them on. Pretty simple process. Run the key in the ignition. It should kind of go away. ABS light will go off once you replace the sensor, and um, that's pretty much how you fix your ABS sensor. Um, the process is pretty much the same with all the other um, sensors. The rear is just a little bit different, um, but it's pretty straightforward. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial video. If, if you want to see more videos of the S10 and uh, how-to videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button.